Hi, I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, Sony filed a patent for technology for its upcoming PlayStation VR 2 system. The technology would feed eye tracking data from the headset into a machine learning system and assign more processing power to the part of a scene where a player is most likely to look first. News source, Game Rant, Shahangsham, a Chinese social e-commerce app and Instagram competitor cut 9% of its staff The company found that 10% of staff were underperforming during annual reviews conducted in March The layoffs follow other Chinese tech giants Alibaba and Tencent who cut thousands of jobs due to regulatory crackdowns. News source, Reuters, network effects powered the rise and dominance of Web2 platforms and captured the imagination of builders and investors over the past decade. Some believe that network effects will be even more powerful in Web3 while others believe that Web3 will kill network effects. In the midst of all the hype and buzzword soup that plagues Web3 discourse today, the answer to this lies in reshaping our mental models about network effects. What we've learned in a Web2 world, covered in my book Platform Revolution, may not apply as directly in a Web3 world. To understand network effects in a Web3 world, it's helpful to rethink network effects from first principles and understand what changes as we move from Web2 to Web3. Sangeet Paul Chowdhury dives into five mental models and is worth your time to understand the differences between Web2 and 3. News source, Platform Substack, a new eBay initiative wants to give slightly damaged clothing, footwear and accessories new life helping to keep more goods out of landfill and reduce waste. The new marketplace will sell new but damaged clothes, footwear and accessories from over 100 brands including Off-White and the North Face, at up to 60% off. To qualify for the Imperfects initiative, items may include defects such as a small scuff or mark, a missing button or a loose thread, or BX display products that no longer meet quality standards. Marketing and selling damaged or nearly new products could expand the growing online resale industry to more goods and make it accessible to more customers. News source, Vogue Business, Google, Meta, and others will have to explain their algorithms under new EU legislation. The Digital Services Act will reshape the online world. A new EU law called the Digital Services Act will force big tech platforms to explain to users and researchers how their algorithms work, remove illegal content faster and take stricter action on misinformation companies will face fines up to 6% of annual revenue. News source, The Verge, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360 Fashion. Knit podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.